Good evening. Tonight, I want to kind of briefly go over a cartridge conversion. What I'm going to be converting is 762 by 39 uh, rifle brass for use in the 6.5 grain. To the left, we have the 762 by 39. We have the Lapua 6.5 Grendel, and we have the Hornady 6.5 Grendel. As you can see right off the bat without pointing anything out, the differences are extreme. There's not much of a taper on the 762 by 39 as there is on the Lapua as far as the shoulder. The shoulder is more pronounced. And there's more of a shoulder than there is on the 7.62x39. The 7.62x39 is also taller than the 6.5 Grendel case, the Lapua. What we're going to need in order to accomplish this, of course, the brass that we're going to convert. And I've, I have a whole case, a whole bag. Uh, these are once fired. I specifically traded a person for this because I wanted the large primer pocket. That's what I'm basing all my loads on with the 6.5 Grendel. An interesting note is also that most of your 762 by 39 brass that's going to be coming out in the future, and Remington has already started doing this, will be large primer pockets. The small primer pockets, as you'll find, is going away. So you'll need your brass. You're definitely going to need your lube. And I'm going to be using the lube that I make and sell, which consists of lanolin and castor oil. And as you can see, you can come to my form, atgreloading.com. It's $9 for a... Uh, four ounce container two dollars shipping 25 cents each additional container which is by far the lowest price you're going to find on the web anywhere because you'll definitely need that and you'll need your dies for the cartridge now i, I started liking these hornady uh, new dimension dies and i have the one for the 6.5 grandle let's go ahead and get this set up on the press and we'll convert a couple. Okay, today I'm going to be using my RCBS RS3 press. The die we're going to need is the full length sizing die. And the correct shell holder. And the shell holder I'm using is the Hornady. Uh, I believe that's number six. Could be nine, but I think it's number six. So let's go ahead and place the shell holder into the press, raise it up to the top of the ram, and I, I believe I've already got this preset, but we'll screw this on down and, and check it out. There it touches. I'll lower the ram. Yeah. Okay, so it's already preset. We can save time there. Go ahead and put my key away. So now, I'm only going to use the lube that's inside the top here. Because this lube will last a very long time. I mean, you will never run out of this. It's just... <laughs> Anyways. Now, some of the things that we, we might end up seeing. Since this case is not tapered. Sorry for the camera work. Since this case is not tapered, 
um, when we form it, it's going to push, bump the shoulder down, and you'll see by evidence after it comes out, and we'll probably have dents in that area. That's fine. That will fire, fire form later um, when I'm able to get out and actually fire form these. So let's go ahead and start converting this case. Like I said, all you need, I don't know if you can see that, but I just put a dab on it, run it through my fingers. The 762 by 39 case will slide in the shell holder. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some lube around the, the neck and the body. Raise it into the rim. Okay, now you're going to feel some resistance right here. And this is going to take some pressure. So an O-style press is really recommended. Uh, cast is the best, but the Lee aluminum breech lock will work just fine. Okay. The primer just come out. I'm at the full stroke. So now, let's compare what we've got. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of difference. I'm just going to use a paper towel, wipe the lube off. You can also do this in your tumbler, which will save some time. But if you don't have a tumbler, you can simply wipe the lube off with a paper towel. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of difference after it converts. So now all there's left to do is to fire form it, um, which is going to consist of a mild powder load with a filler, and then taking to the range and to shoot it before loading with your regular load data. The other word of advice is after you do this. If you've got a hand grinder or a belt grinder, I would recommend I would recommend that you grind the head step down so you do not get this confused with your 762 by 39 and try to load with it. I'm going to start a thread on this over at atgreloading.com so everybody can follow up with it uh, as this goes along. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to the range anytime soon, but it will be pretty soon enough. I uh, also want to point out the diameter of the mouth. As you can see it will fit right inside. Now... 762 by 39 before, after. So, once I trim this to length to the same size as that, we'll do a mild load and we'll finish case for me. Alright, guys, come visit us over at the forum, atgreloading.com. You won't regret it. Catch you on the flip side.